family? It's Chris. And it's Big Carl. And you're watching Bad Outside TV, guys. And we're back at it again with another request. And this one came from... <clears throat> Our dog, Delora, again. Y she always do what she got to do. Right. She just comment it. She ain't say too much. Ain't say too much. Differences we notice between Germany and other countries with Connor Sullivan. So, guys, we're just going <coughs> to get right into the video. But before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what you guys like to next. Hit that notification bell, get notification we have below, and subscribe to join the family. Now let's get into the video. To pick up where we left off in the last video, really? just caught video. <laughs> about what we missed most about Germany. Yeah, yeah. you're in Hollywood video. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you brought that up, I was like, <laughs> I knew it, bro. I knew it. Alright, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Is your, your, your duck is drooping. We're back in Germany. This is just a little welcome back to Germany video. I'm um, yeah. talking about what we've been up to, um, what our future plans are here, what we're doing here. Uh, so first off, what are we doing here? We are here filming a television segment for the okay. ProSieben Taft channel, like we've done in the past. <laughs> Should we tell them where we are? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're in Cologne. We're going to go to Carnival for the very first time. So today's Wednesday, and then Thursday Carnival? is supposed to be like the craziest day. So we're getting costumes today. We've been like, like two hours, and I then we're going to go to Carnival. No, he just said Carnival. He didn't say a Carnival. Stuff, but yeah, that's what they say. Try to... I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Whatever, yeah, guys, it's always fun. Hey, oh, hey, right. we got y'all with us. Saying, so not... we've already done a bunch of different yeah. series. We did our very first series was in Bavaria. Yes. The beginning of last year. We went to Bavaria for four days. We did a bunch of traditional... Bavarian stuff, yeah. and then after that we went to North Wait, Germany, went to Hamburg, Silt, <laughs> and did some stuff there. And then after that we went to Rugebeet, oh, uh, right. which was last November, and found out what life was like in the Rugebeet. And yeah. this is a quick series. Uh, this is gonna be shorter. It's just like a two-day special edition. edition. Special edition on the Cologne Carnival. <laughs> in fact, what's different about this segment of episodes that we're doing versus all the other ones? This one is like being filmed today, edited today, and produced on Monday. So these episodes that you're watching, um, say you posted well, today. That, yeah, the episodes that's that we're filming right now are going to be showing on Monday of next week. So yeah. if you want to watch those, you got to tune in pretty quick. There's not going to be like a oh, it's a month from now. It's 5 p.m. right? I'm proceeding to think, for, for 5 p.m. Proceeding. Yeah, literally, less than a week from now, 5 p.m. Tune in, see if yeah. we enjoyed Carnival. Yeah, and so. Um, basically what we do is we travel to different parts of Germany and, and explore uh, that part of the country, which is super cool because I was thinking about it and talking to a German about it, and they said that the reason it's really cool is that they are discovering Germany for themselves through us. Yes. So it's no. like the viewers in Germany get to watch no, I can and look at their yeah, own country, country from the eyes of a foreigner. Somebody else, yeah. Um, and it's not like every single German has been or seen or experienced these parts of the countries. Like, right. people in the South yeah, and like Bavaria maybe have never gone to the North and vice versa. States. And neither one of those might have gone to Ruby. <laughs> Me so, imagine whatever country you're from. Don't want to be in coming into your country and making a TV terrible, show and you being like, you know, dang, that's crazy because I've never even been there. And these guys you, you are you like, already doing got the bar and, and we don't have a German perspective. Like, we didn't grow up in Germany, so, like, we're not looking at it from what we think everybody thinks yeah, about exactly. already. Exactly. You know, like, as a German, I feel like people are like, okay, like, what do Germans think? We're just, we have no idea. Right. <laughs> we meet, like, famous Germans or we do, like, famous German stuff where it's like, huh, yeah. I have no idea what this is, but I think it's right. cool. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. It's, like, kind of like little kids, you know? If you give yeah. a little kid a present, a lot of times the kid will be more intrigued with the box than the actual present. That's right. kind of like us. A lot of times we'll go places and be super intrigued by something that everyone else thinks is normal. Yes. But the thing that everyone thinks we're going to be super intrigued by, we're like, oh, oh, is that, oh that's cool. And so just to oh. go off more about oh. what he was saying on the perspective, it would be like in America, people from California or watching someone go to the South, like Texas yeah. and stuff, and those people already have a perspective of the South. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so they're already South looking at it through the lens. That's whereas we're like, coming in and going to places with absolutely zero perspective of that yeah. region. Like, it's more fun. Before we went to Rugby in the last uh, series of episodes, like, never even heard of it. Don't know what it's about at all. Like, zero. The only thing I knew was Schalke. But I didn't even know Schalke was in the Rugby. Uh, yeah, I knew, like, the, the we went to, like, the soccer game. But, yeah, I didn't know anything about the coal mining or whatever. Right. 
It's crazy. It's like, yeah, it's more fun. We were watching our old videos yesterday, and we were like, dang, bro, remember we just figured out, like, about the, the bread bedding machine and stuff? Like, it's funny. It's funny to see different culture. Yeah, yeah. It's a good memory. It's such good memories. All right, so here's a question. What is the difference... What, what big differences did you notice between living in Bali, Indonesia? He's been in Bali, Indonesia yeah. for like the last month. That's right. Um, from Germany. So what's the biggest differences that you noticed between Bali, Bali Indonesia and, and Germany? Germany? And then I will tell you the biggest differences between that I've noticed between Italy and Germany. The biggest differences between Bali and Germany. I mean, there's a simple stuff like language, obviously, food is different, Right. but um, the culture, I mean, I'm on an island, right, versus being in Germany, I feel like Germany is really well put together, it's up there with like the US and the UK, where like everything's taken care of as far as people have um, if their houses and infrastructure is all good here, and they have their... Um, their licenses and their paperwork and stuff like that. But in Bali, it's like, it's really a truly island life where it's like, yo, I have a scooter, I ride around, there's not much traffic lights, you just like go where you want. Um, the the police and stuff aren't like are there, but they're more like overseeing that the, like there's bigger things that happen. It's Dude, more the mopeders were help. I like no traffic and I like police minding their business. Cause they ain't the opposite over here. Police in your business and it's traffic. I'm not gonna tell y'all about today. <laughs> no! There's like seven year old kids that don't wear helmets. Some people got on me in my videos for not wearing a helmet. And I'll tell you right now, there's barely, uh, I, mean, I would say over 50% probably do wear helmets, but there's kids my age and younger that are not wearing helmets. So. Cause it's like an no, island no. Where they're taking their surfboard to the beach yeah. and just chilling. So just think about a tropical island. That's pretty much what Bali's like. Yeah. Biggest difference, yeah, is that it's, it's just it's island life, bro. Island life versus big time city infrastructure country life is way different. Yeah, I don't know how to describe. It's it. hard. It's very difficult because you're now you're now we're talking about like, with Bali. Like you're talking about Hawaii. a very specific Two small island right. in of Indonesia. the country of Indonesia, and trying to compare a, a small island to the country of Germany is right. probably like impossible. But like just like generally speaking, Bali is just like it's like going camping. Yeah, it's like going. It's like if you left Germany to go camping. Yeah, it's like you're in the woods. Like you're eating food off a plate with your hands and. You're riding a motor scooter with no traffic laws, and yeah, it's, a, it's a little bit more free in motor the sense scooter that, with no like, traffic laws. yeah, it's just free, I guess. It makes sense. You're free and like, you also, you gotta have it. So yeah, you kind of like do what you want when you want, and yeah, that's a and real. And you figure it out for yourself. Germany's more like a community, I would say. You know, like yeah. Germans are like a community. Then yeah, everything we do. works together. Yeah, like this, like, is like, this is what we do. This is what we do on the weekends. This is like Sunday. Stores are closed. Like we all know what's going on. Stuff like that. But but shoot, that's not to say I just haven't been in Bali enough to know their. I think he said they definitely have their own customs and cultures. But I would just say island life versus like mainland infrastructure European country life is just way different. Yeah, it's like almost impossible. I talked to him. They want to know what you because Italy and Germany. Yeah, I'm so close. Yeah, yeah. So we're probably like competing. All the time. Right, and one of the, so what's so crazy about Europe? I always say this is that you can drive a couple hours and then be in a different culture, different speaking language, yeah. different food, different mm -hmm. everything. Different Literally. speaking. And that's kind of how it is in Italy. So it's just like just south of Germany, really, <laughs> a couple countries south. Um, I've only been there for a month and a half, so haven't learned like everything. I've picked up a few that's things. That's a good time, though. Number one, um, I will say that. It, Italians are not as concerned about efficiency as Germans. And to be honest, that's it. I would say that like no other country in the world is as like efficient as Germans. So it's definitely at the top. Um, so yeah, that's definitely different. Like in, I live in Florence, which is like a, a huge city where tons of people are walking, and it's kind of chaotic in there. Like the streets are, are kind of difficult to know. Um, which is a one way, which is a not. They're all going all over the place. You have a ton of people on scooters going everywhere. But I don't know. I already got hit by the police and got a 70 euro fine because I was going down a pedestrian only area. And which all the Italians do. Yeah, there's like tons of Italians that do. And, and basically, it's like over there, I would say the majority of, of mopeders in Florence, or a lot of them, pretty much rule, live by. 
I'm gonna do it, and if I get yeah, caught, yeah, I pay yeah. the fine. I think that's where I'm like, from. So. Like, most mopeders aren't just thinking like, ooh, I need Moped. to make sure I'm following <laughs> exactly the way to go. Right. And one of the things I will like defend about the Italians who live there, imagine having like, 50,000 tourists in your city every single day. That is true. If you like try to do it like exactly the way you do it and not have to like cut in front of people or do whatever, you probably be like late to work and like right. uh, it'd be hard to get around. But that is true because Florence well, is such I a hate tourist city. Coming down here. Yeah, it is. More than any city we've been to in Germany. Messing up also. Yeah. Um, then and then get second, mad when you get robbed for going too slow. Yeah, like when it was Christmas time and everybody was down here, I'm just like, look. And then everybody called was repo the next day. I'm tired of y'all. December like... 26th, them uh them repo lots was them them tow lots was full. Boy, y'all should have been down here. December 20, 26, 2018. I know it set a record for most cars repo in a day. I just know <laughs> it did. Everybody got repo in a day. This is the end of the video, guys. If you would like to see the original video by yourself, the link will be down in the description below. And so is our social media. Add us, follow us. You guys should already know the deal. But since this is the end of the video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below if you guys like to next. Hit that notification bell to get notification we upload. And subscribe to join the family. See you guys in the next video.